Hey folks, Country Prepper here. So as you see, I'm giving you guys a little bigger view of my uh, knife wall and, and some of my other gears hanging up here. Some backpacks, some haversacks, and things like that. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about gear reviews. I quit doing gear reviews for quite a while. And not because I didn't want to do the videos, uh, but because I was just totally burned out on it. Uh, I was sick of watching gear reviews and so it made me not want to do the gear reviews myself. And I didn't know if, you know, if maybe if I'm getting sick of it, then maybe other people are getting sick of it. And we only have so much money to spend. You know, money's really tight. It's really hard to come by. You gotta fight for every penny you get nowadays, it seems like. And so the reason that I'm going to start doing them again is just exactly for that reason is to make sure that people know the good stuff the stuff that is worth spending their money on uh before they you know go out and and purchase something i think it's important to anytime you're looking for a new piece of gear whether it be a knife or a flashlight or a backpack or a haversack or an axe or uh you know whatever the case may be uh i always personally i watch a ton of reviews on you know what I'm looking for uh, take for example this backpack that I need to do a review on this is my new bushcraft backpack or I use it for bushcraft just because you know it looks more like a bushcraft style backpack with modern features and that's what I was looking for and so you know I was looking all over for a backpack that would suit what I was after and everything that I came across that was you know that that uh, that was affordable that still matched all the criteria that I was looking for uh, they were you know over two hundred dollars some of them were over three or four hundred dollars and I, I couldn't afford to spend that even though at the time I was I was making pretty good money from trading cryptocurrencies and and whatnot but uh, still I didn't want to spend that much money on a backpack that I'm gonna take out you know maybe once or twice a month and get it you know just get it dirtier in hell and and uh, use use the crap out of it basically so you know i came across that one it was only two reviews on that backpack but that was enough to convince me that that's the one i wanted to go with for especially for the price point so i think it's important to do the gear reviews not only to get get more information about the type of gear that you're looking for uh, i know there are a lot of people out there uh, some close friends of mine and I'm an absolute knife nut but they know very little about knives and you know that's nothing you know nothing good nor bad it's just uh, you know the you have to look into that knowledge in order to acquire that knowledge and so I think it's important to start doing some gear reviews again I'm not going to bog you guys down with it. it's not going to be every video like some channels but probably maybe once a week once every couple of weeks every other week something like that uh, i'll do a gear review just just for the purpose of uh, keeping you guys informed on you know what's what's good out there that's affordable or whatever like uh, you know if you got a little more money to spend you know i'm gonna do a video on my lt right that i had uh that i ordered late last year uh, but i'll also do some stuff like uh i don't know do some more Mora knives. I, I've done, what, one review, maybe two on a couple Mora knives. I think I did one for a Bushcraft Black, and actually, come to think of it, that's about, I think that's the only Mora knife review I've ever done. I've done a, one on a BK-16 and a BK-9, I think it was, and I just haven't done a whole lot of knife reviews. And so, um, you know, I've done some flashlight reviews. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I uh, have not done but maybe a couple of backpack reviews, a sling pack review. Uh, you know, I, I haven't done a whole lot. Anyway, the point is I have a lot of stuff that I can do reviews on of gear that I have and have used quite a bit and I trust it. And so I want to pass that information along to you guys. And so, like I said, the next video, the next, or the next, the review coming up next will be this uh, A2 from WowTac. And then I have a flashlight from Night that I'll do probably a week or so later. Um, Got to get out to the woods, do some knives, axes. Uh, this backpack, I'm really, really impressed with this backpack, so I got to do a review on it. Uh, I'll show you my uh, get home bag, and I'll probably do a review on that sling pack before I do the uh, get home bag video. 
um, you know just, just things like that try and mix it in so it's not just a review for all of them but um, you know so that you get a good idea of what uh, what good stuff is out there for you know a decent price so I'm always going to stay more budget-minded than uh, some other channels out there. You'll probably never see me do a video on a knife that's over $300. Uh, the only knife that I own that's over $200 is that LT Wright. Uh, other than that, I have no intentions on buying any more really expensive knives, and I consider that an expensive knife. Some people wouldn't, but that's just me. Uh, I've always been kind of a, a budget-minded person. So anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know some of the stuff that you'd like to see. Uh, I'd really like to do uh, some more like custom, handmade uh, company knife companies, maybe like uh, Battle Horse knives or maybe some more LT Wright knives. But that's one of the things that uh, I'm going to have to somehow find some type of financial um, support. To help the channel until you know maybe some of those companies will start sending me stuff um, the only knives I've ever gotten for free for doing a review is uh, that SEMA 1 knife that you see right here and then some Gonzo knives from Gear Best uh, that's it so uh, hopefully I could get you know some companies uh, sending knives if I get out and do some reviews on them so that way I can you know show you guys more about them because there's a lot of knowledge that you need when you go to buy a knife. And so uh, I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, leave me a comment below. So I really thank you guys for watching and uh, sharing your opinions with me, sharing your thoughts. Another thing, I'd really like to get to doing some live streams again, but our internet really sucks. Uh, it's really slow around here. Being in a small town, we just don't have that many options. So I might have to get, like, a wireless hotspot or something like that so that I can do... Um, do some uh, live live videos, uh, streaming videos out in the garage or something like that. It's too loud in the house with kids, unless I do them really late at night. So anyhow, just a thought. Let me know what you think about that too. So anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.